All right, so here's the test rig for the uh, three-seat Velomobile thingamajiggy. And so you just uh, get your, uh, your pilot to um, park their keister down on a, on a seat that is a certain height and adjust the back angle here. And there's another back angle here, here. Um, for to what <laughs> to uh, well to follow the curve of their back as they sit down, um, and then I've got some pedals here, and so these are uh, whatever length they need to be, so that the uh, the rider's length is uh, uh, leg length is accommodated, and their knee does not go totally straight. Um, so it's useful to have a bit more bend than usual in their leg uh, at full extension because if their leg is totally straight uh, their foot in a reclined position their foot seems more likely to uh, slip off or if not slip off it takes more effort to, to hold it on the pedal and also their, uh, their knee gets um, heavy, feels heavy whereas on a regular bicycle you're more upright so it's not like your knee is trying to collapse this way but when we're rotated over here, and their knee is like this, then the weight of the knee itself is pushing down. So it helps to have a bit more arch. Not a lot, but uh, a bit. So I've got my simulated padding here. Mm -hmm. And so then, pedal like this. So I put in a couple of uh, boards here, a couple of boards to um, to raise up the seat, yay much. Um, so it was comfortable for my rider to use and uh, measured out the leg length. I just made a stand out of a bit of scrap 2x4 um, holding this dead bicycle in place and then a uh, cinder block holding it down, kind of, so we can adjust things as need be, so that's way too long for me. And pull it back, <laughs> there we go, instant adjustment. So I'm using this to uh, take all the measurements um, for the final cockpit and just make sure things like, um, uh, I have measurements like the maximum height, height of the toe here. So I can raise my foot up a little bit higher than normal on the pedal, and then measure this maximum height down to the floor, and also things like uh, heel heel strike, which there is actually going to be a little bit of here, but it seems pretty natural in a in, in a reclined position to um, to not have my my foot angled so much where it will be striking down but more at an angle like that where or even if my foot is uh, about yay on the pedal it's not actually hitting the ground so I think it'll work I hope it'll work <laughs> if that doesn't work I'll put uh, maybe a little piece of sheet metal on the floor to uh, I might do that anyway just to accommodate some of the scraping uh, Scraping on the floor from a heel, like that. But, I don't know, I think it's going to be alright. Um, yeah, so I guess, uh, oh yeah, there's uh, also the subject of knee height at various points through the, uh, the pedal cycle. So I've measured that maximum height here, again to the floor. And so that's going to dictate the height of the uh, bodywork, or where it truncates. So if it stops here, I can I can actually have it quite low. Whereas if it comes back toward me a little bit more, like if the hood of the car comes up to about here, then I really have to be careful about where the knee goes. So there's that. Um, so the way I've got it laid out right now, I think I'm going to have the, the hood ending about here, or even further. And then the windshield just starts from there. So that should be alright, hopefully.
Um, what else have we got? Uh, body position. I've talked to a person that uh, that really didn't want um, certain recumbent positions um, because it was uncomfortable in their abdomen. I think it was something to do with the uh, leg angle um, pressing up against their tummy. So, I'm fairly reclined here. And so I think that gives a lot of space in here. Maybe if you have a lot of stuff in your pockets or something, but I think it's alright. Like so. Whereas, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe if this rig were a bit shorter, shorter like that, then my knee and my thigh come, a lot, come in a lot closer and starts to get uncomfortable in around the top of my hip. So that's no fun. But, you know, we size accordingly. And as long as the seat angle is not too, too steep here. <clears throat> and, um, and what? Also, if the uh, seat angle is too low, <clears throat> if it's too low, so I'm sitting all like back like that, then we, we start to need uh, headrest and things like that, um, just to make the seating more uh, ergonomic. Yeah. That's all. That's, uh, that's that for now. <laughs> oh. And, uh, so I'm going to start cutting out the, uh, some of the body panels next. Next week's exciting episode.